ePillow Health Systems is a digital healthcare company that uses artificial intelligence, machine learning, and blockchain to help people live healthier lifestyles. So to tell us more about ePillow Health Systems is the CEO, Asif Shah. And we're also going to talk a little bit about your uh, partnership uh, with uh, Dr. Singh and his company. So let's start with you, uh, Mr. Shah. Just tell me about ePillow. Bring me up to date. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, Jane, for the question. Uh, Hippelow Health Systems is a digital healthcare company based in Europe. Uh, we are aimed at transforming the medical technology landscape by incorporating the best of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and blockchain in digital healthcare applications. At Hippelow Health Systems, we want to help everyone lead a healthier and safer lifestyle every day through product and services that connect automate, disrupt, and bring innovation to the digital health landscape. We are working on products and features to empower people to be healthier with the information, assistance, and connections they need to act on their health. Well, I know that's a really big deal, um, some of these interactions. Yeah. So how do drug food and drug drug interactions decrease the efficiency of the treatment? Yeah, uh, so the foods that we consume along with the drugs that we are prescribed to take for therapeutic benefits, uh, the drugs that we take, they interact in many ways. Uh, those, uh, those interactions can be minor and can be as major as adverse drug events. So undesirable pharmacological effects in a consumer of prescription drugs are often triggered by the drug interactions either amongst themselves or with the food that the consumer intakes thereby causing millions of unwanted interactions in home settings and unsupervised uh, non-clinical settings. So what are digital therapeutics? And tell us more about ePillow's digital therapeutics and how it prevents that. So digital therapeutics are patient-facing software applications or devices or a combination of both that help patients treat, prevent, or manage a disease or symptom or a condition. Now, digital therapeutics can really support the patients in self-managing their symptoms or adding benefits to their current therapy and thereby improving their quality of life and other clinical uh, endpoints. Now, Dr. Singh, what are the patents about? Thanks, Jane. Thanks for asking this question. This is really important, actually. So um, this is based on systems and methods uh, for a blockchain-based digital therapeutic uh, devices to predict drug food interactions. And we have filed this patent in 227 countries through the European Patent Office, APO, and uh, similarly we filed with, through the US Patent Office to the 153 countries. So, And innovative uh, digital uh, healthcare technology interest based uh, on patent pending, which is, as I mentioned, the 153 countries worldwide. So. This whole technology of uh, what we are uh, uh, launching as an interest is based on the artificial intelligence computational molecule docking. And uh, this is uh, this model use the pre uh, present invention can autonomously explore multiple possible binding sites and modes and score them according to the interactions, potential of a drugs compounds and a food com constituents with the target protein sites and detect the drug and food interaction type of, by predicting the most probable binding sites. So based on the proprietary algorithms, uh, a set of uh, uh, proprietary algorithms forming a flow of systems to create uh, digital therapeutic devices, DTX for our patients and doctors or clinical uses uh, for that. Mm -hmm. Now, how are the healthcare ecosystem and then just the population in general benefit from ePillow's innovation? You see if you want to address yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, the global digital health market size was uh, estimated at around uh, USD uh, 114 billion in 2019 and is expected to reach USD 144 billion in 2020. Uh -huh. And the industry is poised to grow at the uh, compound annual growth rate of 27.2% from 2019 to 2025. Well, very interesting to hear how technology can play a role in making healthcare more efficient and make people healthier. So thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Singh, thank and also uh, Asif Shah for joining us today and explaining that. Thank you, Jane. Thank you very much.